I am a physical therapist trained in the United States. Um, I also have a master's degree in global health and development. And for the last three years, I've really been focusing on um, access to quality rehabilitation in lower resource settings. I am, I have been um, hired by WCPT to be um, a country mentor specifically for the bridge training that will occur. So educating those currently teaching in Tajikistan to teach um, more physical therapy related curriculum. Um, overall, I thought it was such a positive experience and my impression is that the Stakeholders invested in creating a bachelor's program in physical therapy are very excited and very willing and very open to um, create this really necessary, really needed healthcare profession in, in Tajikistan. There's not necessarily a specific moment that I think is, is my highlight. I think I, I most appreciated the change in dialogue over the three days that we had where um, we spoke a lot with with um, the teachers at the college and those trained elsewhere in India, and I really was appreciating uh, how we kind of came together as an understanding of what physical therapy is and uh, an understanding of what Tajikistan has done already and what they've done well, and then the ways that we can we can make what they've already created better. So I really just appreciated how we could we could sort through that for people being from all corners of the world in that particular setting and finding that common ground and, and being able to move forward on that. Yeah, well, the opportunities are um, quite open and endless, honestly, which is what is so exciting about Tajikistan specifically. They're the first Central Asian country to really think about rehabilitation and implement it into their health system from a government sense. So, you know, that right there is a huge opportunity that we're, we're creating the healthcare profession of physical therapy within the very first. Um, Central Asian country to really, to really take that step. So that's that's obviously a huge opportunity. And then, thinking more microscopically, you know, the ability to create a a internationally standard, uh, recognized curriculum for Tajik for for Tajik needs and Tajik people, and to be able to, to really think about something and and tailor it to the needs of that population is also a, a huge opportunity, and potentially using that as a framework to think about physical therapy in other Central, Asian, in other Central Asian countries um, and perhaps Eastern Europe as well. So, so big opportunities all around. Yeah, in 12 months, um, I would like, you know, my hope is that we have really got a firm uh, curriculum that we are, are working with and we've developed the content for that curriculum and this will be based on classes that they're currently teaching and classes that are more physical therapy specific. So a nice full complete curriculum that we are working with and uh, that we are well into the training of the trainers portion. So we've identified the persons who are best suited to teach the courses and that we have really um, well established the, the education part of that training. But, you know, within one year, you know, we, we certainly won't be towards the end. It's a lot of work ahead. So that will be, you know, I hope to be just solidly off the ground at that point. Mm -hmm.